Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne 9 and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing season 5, episode 21 of The Flash called The Girl with the Red Lightning. So we start off with Thawn, uh, Countdown is done and the guard provokes him. So he's basically been in jail for 15 years and he's about to go on a permanent vacation by himself. And then we get to present day where uh, Cicada talks to Grace. And wants to go like worldwide or at least throughout the US. And then we cut to where Kayla informs the team about her um about Grace's possible plan to use the freezing device that was used a different way. They could it can unleash a lot of crap. And then uh, they have a plan to get um so they're going to they have a plan to give every meta their cure. Then Joe suggests using C C P D. And then we cut to where Cisco um, has the satellite core and does a test on it with that metal gun and it works. Then we cut to where Barry is worried about Nora and then we cut to uh, then we cut to where Joe talks to Singh and he agrees to let CCPD um, let the metas come and, the, and get the cure. And now Joe's in charge until Singh gets back he's gotta go to the late town hall and do these extra things in order for, you know, everything to smooth over. And then we cut to where Wells talks to uh, Renee and they go on a date. But Cicada shows up and Cicada saw Nora coming because um, Wells pressed the alert thing and, you know, the flashes were on their way. But um, they're still cyclically leading between Nora and um and Grace said so that's why they could see each other and so she escaped and but she's still a converter and now she needs a hyper conduit is the last thing she needs to power up the uh, device and then we cut to where Will says I love you to Renee and then we cut to where Nora saw Grace as like I said earlier and that's why she got red. It's like, it's not her anger, it's Grace's anger. Since they're cyclically linked, that's why her lightning went temporarily red and why she went red in the eyes. And then we have CCPD with Joe is underway with everyone. And then they get, um, then there's an article in the news about them and now they are slammed. And then we cut to where they got a name for a hyper conduit, thanks to Nora, because apparently someone named Sebastian Almonds, who was Cisco's roommate in college that he claims is dumb, uh, has one in 2049. And they got a location and using the technology, he, he's kind of souped up lab. And then we go to where Barry benches Nora. And so um, he goes there and find out that Grace already took it and blew up the building trying to off the flash, which didn't happen. Then we cut to uh, Ralph is al almost cracked the code to why Thawne set everything in motion with Nora. But Barry is not worrying about it right now. And then we cut to where Nora grabbed the device that helped Caitlin and Killer Frost talk to each other. And was use, wants to use it to uh, communicate with Grace. Then we cut to where Joe is overwhelmed at work, and then the medics are starting to get out of control. Then Joe loses it and just kind of takes the beat. He's got to, he's got to calm down. Then we find out that uh, Renee leaves the um, CCPD. Then we cut to where Nora uses the device to locate Grace. Uh, she didn't really, she got a little in there, but then she passed out. Thanks to um, Barry um, taking the device off of her because she was destroying Star Labs. And then we cut to where they try to convince them. Uh, she, Zenora so wakes up and tries to convince them to use it again to find her. And she makes a compelling argument and like they'll talk about it. Then we cut to where Joe's overwhelmed slash lost, but then Cecile says some straight like, um, everyone that gets advice from you is usually right and they're much better off. You're going to be great at this. You need to stop worrying. <laughs> and then we cut to where Wells found Renee and she doesn't want the cure. 
So Wells wants her to put her in a different Earth and take him back to his Earth. And so um, she agrees and wants him to go uh, with her. He says no, he wants to fight and then he wants to, you know, be with her. So she goes. Then we got to where Barry lets Nora proceed after thinking about it, and then we cut to where Joe settles down the crowd, and then Nora is in and talks to her and got a location, and she's like, look, we both had messed up childhoods. I'm sorry this happened to you, but I'm not choosing to have my anger, your anger consume me or whatever, and she's a lot, and she feels sorry for her too, so... That was really good. And then we cut to where she got a location. She's at CCPD. And she, Grace literally zapped all the powers of everybody. And then uses the itemizer to um, Earth. Uh, so the plan for Team Flash is um, send the uh, itemizer to Earth 15. Then Team Flash KO, KO her while Cisco works on the device. And so she wakes up and turns out she has the power within her. Within her. I was like, what? And so it's Killer Frost and Ralph versus her. Uh, she wins, but S Cisco managed to do it. And we find out that Ralph figured out Thon's plan. Thon had the dagger on him, and that's what he's getting hurt with the entire time. And so with this dagger, it removes all the dark matter and all of the negative speed force as well. And so if they get rid of the dagger, Thon can escape. So Ralph tries to warn Barry, but that's when the, the show ends. Oh my god. And so um, I said so that was the end of the episode, and so I give this episode literally a A+. Plus because they had a lot of stuff in there that I thought was going to happen and it didn't and that was very refreshing but also had a lot of char character flaws that are too repetitive such with Barry not thinking and stuff through all the damn time he doesn't do it but yeah I'm still wearing my flash shirt so <laughs> that was completely a coincidence by the way um but anyway honestly when Wells was sending Renee to um, his Earth. I thought that Cicada or, you know, so Grace, or I just want to say Cicada, this makes more damn sense. Anyway, it, to me, it makes more sense. Um, I expected her to show up and off her before she went to the Earth. And I, I, I was like, I was really surprised when they didn't do that. I was so happy about it, but I was still surprised by it. But then we have Barry, who. You know, doesn't <laughs> listen to people that might have an alternative view, and he just kind of shuts it down and just go about his business, which is stupid. Um, he just kind of ignores Ralph, but then Ralph managed to figure it out, and if he, you know, very put more thought into it and actually like, like see where this goes and stuff, then you know, he, this he wouldn't. And stuff may not happen. I don't know what's going to happen this uh, in the next episode, but I was like, That's so stupid. But anyway, uh, I really enjoyed this episode. Um, they had a lot of elements in there. We could see Nora, you know, evolve more and be more grown up, and you know, you know, take control. So I really like that as well. Anyway, that's going to do for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. T tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. I'm very curious to see what other people think about this episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to the new subscriber that we got. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Uh, bye, everybody.